What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. RPCSX UI Android emulator has just received a massive update. This update brings several improvements that enhance both usability and performance. For your information, RPCSX UI Android has actually rebranded from RPCS3 Android and is now in its first official release. While it's still an experimental PS3 Android native emulator, it has already successfully booted games like The Last of Us, Uncharted, and God of War 3. Now the big question is, does it work on all Android devices? Can it run high-end games? Are these improvements enough, or does it still need more time? Let's get started. This version introduces a cleaner and more modern interface with refreshed colors and simplified text labels, such as changing import to download for better clarity. A new About dialog has been added, along with improved handling of trophy notifications. The on-screen controller OSC editor also received upgrades, allowing users to disable specific buttons and adjust opacity for better customization. The emulator continues to support ISO and PKG formats, requires PS3 firmware installation, and works with both virtual and physical controllers. With a virtual home button offering quick access to save states, screenshots, and screen recording, now let's see how to download the latest RPCSX UI Android emulator. In my previous video, my audience was totally unsure about where to get the app. Fortunately, the RPCSX emulator is an open source project and is now available on GitHub. Simply visit the GitHub page, and here you will find all the available versions. Open the latest release and download the APK file, then install it. If it stops installing due to a conflict with the existing package, simply uninstall the app if it's already installed. When you first open the app, if it asks for permission to send notifications, simply agree. When you first open the emulator, you will notice it's quite similar to RPCS3 Android. Let's install the firmware, an essential component for running PS3 games. Fortunately, the official PlayStation 3 firmware is available on PlayStation's website, so you can easily download it. Once downloaded, click on Install Firmware in the emulator and navigate to the folder where the file is saved, usually the Downloads folder. The installation will begin immediately and complete within seconds. Now let's add games. Click on the plus icon, then either select a game directory or navigate to the folder where your games are stored. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is not. I do not support or provide access to pirated games. Please use legal copies for your own safety. Let's start with the best settings. First, head over to the advanced settings. You'll notice many new options here. One of the key improvements is the ability to adjust the core PPU decoder and thread settings. Before making changes, check your phone's thread count in the system info. Some of these settings can significantly improve performance, but if you're unsure, it's completely fine to stick with the default settings. In the VFS settings, you can set the disk cache, which determines how much RAM will be used. It's important to adjust this according to your device's available RAM for the best performance. Now let's talk about the most anticipated update, the video settings. Here, you can choose between OpenGL and Vulkan as your rendering API. Personally, I recommend Vulkan for better performance on most devices. If you're running high-end games, lowering the resolution can really help boost performance. You can also set the aspect ratio, enable V-Sync, which helps eliminate screen tearing, the frame rate can go up to 120 FPS, and toggle stretch mode for full screen gameplay. But I suggest keeping it on auto for now to maintain stability. There are plenty more new features here to explore. Another exciting addition is keyboard and mouse support. Yes, you can now use them for smoother control. Also, the network settings and save state features have seen notable improvements, making your gameplay experience even better. Lastly, there's one more powerful feature you should definitely use if your device has a Snapdragon chipset custom GPU driver support. Installing the appropriate driver for your chip can greatly enhance graphics and performance. However, this feature is limited to Snapdragon users if you're using a different chipset. Unfortunately, it won't be available for you. This update makes playing PS3 games on Android devices smoother and more user-friendly than ever. So, keep an eye on our channel. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest news. See you next time!